Welcome to the Film Garage 208 podcast. My name is Sarah and this is Daniel. Hello. This is Taylor over here. Welcome. Hi. She is Spray by Tay located in St. Anthony. Welcome. Thanks Thank for being you. on the podcast. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. You drove an hour me. to be here. I did. Totally I, worth it. I can't Just believe dedicated. that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. An hour drive for us is a long time. No way. That's like a... For we're, not, we're not road trip people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, so how do you guys travel? Um... Airplane. Do you, do you travel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, not like road trips. Not really. Not anymore. No. We, not lately. Well, right. we, have so a we kid, lived so in Hawaii before. That's my and favorite so, place in the whole wide world. Like, the island's not that long. So, no. like, you Which can island only, were you on? We were on Oahu. Oh, yeah. So, you can only go so far. It's like yeah. 40 miles long. Mm -hmm. And so, road tripping, like, an hour, you know? It and does then, take you forever to get places. Though. It can. Right there. It can really yeah. take Traffic you a long time. And, yeah. But, but then now here we're like, eh, we're good. Yeah. So Just, why come from Hawaii? We had a child. Oh. Yeah. And my she family's ruined here. Everything. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I love her so much. No. It yeah, was, it was amazing yeah, actually. No, amazing. That was yeah. a joke. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> but no, <laughs> we're here now. I love my but child. that's here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Enough about us and our loving our child. <laughs> okay. Oh tell us. Tell us about why, you. Yeah. Okay, so what's your background? I am originally from St. Anthony. You are from St. Yeah. Okay. And we actually built a house a um it's like maybe a half a mile away from my mom's. Okay. Nice. And we found out we were having twins the same month we broke ground on our new house. Oh my gosh. Twins. And I had an 18 month old at the time. Stop. So I was one of those crazy people that had three kids under the age of two at one point. Oh wow. my gosh. And it wasn't like we had a really hard time getting our first. Uh -huh. So I just thought, oh, it'll take a little while to get our second. Yeah. And, and bam. They came the first month we tried. <laughs> Wow. Two at a time, too. Two at a time. That's I, insane. I remember being like, how can I do this? There's no way I can do this. But it's been the best. Because you experienced one already. Yeah. And so you're like, okay, and I know what it. I'm in yeah. for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was so building a house mm -hmm. and then and having twins. You broke ground yeah. on the yeah. house. So you're so, still in construction mode. Yeah. yeah. So we were living with my mom. And it was so fun. Like people have... I think kind of bad experiences when they build houses, but we loved ours. Okay. But we also went every day. So if there was something I didn't like or something that went wrong, I'd be like, Hey, I don't love I that. think that's important. Yeah. Just have hands on. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I met my husband in Rexburg on okay. a blind date and he was way more invested than I was. <laughs> <laughs> a blind date too. Yeah. So our friends were actually dating and okay. they're like, Oh, let's get together. And he pursued hard and I'm grateful he did now. I wasn't right. ready. He was a good guy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, it's been great. We've been married almost 13 years. Nice. Congrats. Yeah. So it's been so fun. That's good. He was just very in name? interested. Keith. Keith. Yeah. Keith. You'll hear about Keith a lot. Good job, Keith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way to go, Keith. Way to be persistent. <laughs> <laughs> was he the nice guy? Yes. He was the very nice guy. Uh -huh. Like very respectful. I totally didn't like bad boys back in the day, so it's okay. fine, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> so he was your type. No, you were you, just yeah, I just didn't know it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, so what got you into spray tanning? How did we do this? So it was after I had my twins. Okay. And people would be like, what do you do for fun? And I'd say, well, I chase my toddler around and I nurse my twins. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. What's... Yep. And I kind of <laughs> felt lost. Yeah. I was like, I don't even remember who I am. I don't remember, you know, like, and totally. you give, you give all yourself to motherhood. Like yeah. your kids are your number one. You want them to have the best life possible. Mm -hmm. And my um, cousin's wife down in Utah did spray tans. She's like, Taylor, it's the best job for mm. moms. And I was like, oh, and I kept kind of rolling it over and rolling it over. And then we were walking around Target with a couple of friends. And then I was like, you guys, I think I'm going to do this. They're yeah. like, yeah, do it. Do it. So I went home and I told Keith. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, let's let's do it. Our basement's unfinished. I can build you like the bathroom down there. Yeah. Can be your room. So he built my whole room. I went down and got trained, got certified. And then That's exciting. Cool. it was so fun. And yeah. he was my first spray tan. Your husband, yeah, perfect. <laughs> nice. So he was a good sport. Uh huh. Um, but how'd it go? 
It was fine. I think <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> he, we've, he sprayed me last night. You know, we've now. Okay, good. Yeah, he does yeah. great. He's gotten the training yeah. as well. Um, but. I love that you've taught him. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to. My daughter. I get it. You're like, like I got to have someone who can do this. One time he wasn't around and I was like, I really just need like, I can get my front. I need my back done. So my seven-year-old sprayed my back. <laughs> And she did fine. It was okay. Yeah. You know? She loved it. She the thought classic, it was awesome. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. Um, <laughs> but it's been really rewarding, you guys. And it yeah. fills my cup to make other people feel good. Yeah. So I worked as a dental assistant before that for like 10 years. Yeah. I was going to say, what were you doing before? Were you working full time or were you So after my home? oldest, I was just one day a week. But yeah. In and, the dental hygiene field. Yeah. And okay. it was awesome. So you went to school then? Yeah, I for, did a fast little program yeah. and it was fun, but it, I didn't want to be away from my kids. Mm -hmm. And like, that's what I've always wanted to do is be a stay at home mom. Yeah. And so I needed something where I could make people like have that interaction that would fill my cup where I yeah. was like making people feel pretty and talking to people. But then I could still be at home and we could go to the park and I like to throw big parties. And yeah. yeah just was there anything that. else that you were thinking about starting like any other kind of business? I don't know. The spray tan just stood out to you. Spray tan just stood. I always knew I wanted to be in the bit like beauty industry. Mm -hmm. okay. I just didn't want to do hair. I'm not like per like nails take too long. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So it was just like the perfect because I do them in about 20 minutes. Just yeah, spoke to yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is perfect. And you had been using spray tans before. Yeah, like, I you, love spray tans. So you were <laughs> yeah. super yeah, familiar yeah. with yeah. all of it. Like, yeah. That yeah. makes sense since you already knew about it. So were going you, into it, you were just like comfortable with yeah. all of it, you know. And I just new. don't have a like I told you guys, I don't have a filter, I don't have mm -hmm. a bubble. So like <sighs> naked people don't scare me, yeah. I guess. And I like fine. would talk to you the same if you were naked or fully dressed. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't really matter when people get nervous <laughs> and they're like, You're gonna see stuff. I'm like, no, I don't care. I have it. We're not cool. Too. Like yeah. 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 We're getting you a spray tan. Uh -huh. right We're now. getting you right now. Yeah. So were you actively seeking like another job or is it just coincidental that like you had a friend who was doing spray tans and was like, you should do this. It seriously was like pure blessing. Yeah. Like, just coincidental. Kind of fell into your lap. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it was just all worked out perfectly. And that's really cool. I feel super blessed because I had no idea four years ago that it would ever turn into what it's turned into. Yeah. And so what, what have we turned into? So like this year has been my biggest year so far. Okay. I have a really good Congrats. clientele. Thank you. Yeah. And it's just been fun. It's just been, it really is like such a blessing financially to my family, but also to me as a person mm -hmm. to be able to like meet people and have a connection and yeah. like, I don't know. It's been awesome. So yeah. you said this is in your basement where yeah. you have it all set up. Does, do they have to come through your house then to get yes, there? Yes, and my guess, you guys, I'm so not that a good you housekeeper. Have to keep your house clean. That's I am not a good housekeeper. <laughs> so okay, hard. I'm oh, like no. so people just come the pathway in. to get yes, through. Yes, and I have toys, <laughs> uh -huh. and but the cool thing right, is, is, you have yeah a, a home with kids in it. <laughs> and people, yeah, not that anything's wrong with that. Like this, yeah, <laughs> people know. Yeah, when you everyone's have a home, with home kids is in like it. that. Well, and I always tell people, I'm like, don't get a babysitter. Don't like, or don't cancel it because you sure. don't have a babysitter. Come and your kids can play in my toy room. They can do whatever. Yeah. And most people are like, thank you for having a real home. Thank yeah. you for making us feel like a home. I like that. Instead of being like, oh, it's picture perfect. Because mm -hmm. right? that's not me. And you like feel so uncomfortable. I like, know. And you don't want to touch anything. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> my house is not like that. <laughs> more, a lot more cozy feelings. Yes. Thank yeah. I like that. Yeah. Cozy. Yeah. It's homey. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. But that's nice that you're able to have people's kids come and join because that's a big yeah. thing because mm -hmm. you're like wanting to fill like other mother's cups mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. So training wise, from the business point of it, did you ever have any like business experience before starting this? No. No. And luckily, Keith has his degree in marketing. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> business marketing. And he knew like what to do because the mm -hmm. tax side of it and the like, he's like, oh, you have to do this and this. And then you have to check off all this. And I'm like, oh, I had no, I'm just here. Right. I'm just here to do, I'm the fun party side and he's the business side. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm just hearing white noise right now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally though. You do it. Yeah. I don't want to do that. So it's been a good teamwork. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. He's admin. Yeah. So what, is he, what does he do full time? So he is an agronomist at a fertilizer company in Sugar City. Break that down for me. Yeah. So he goes out <laughs> what? and he like samples the soil and then like helps the farmers like maximize their crops. Cool. Yeah. 
And okay. he grew up farming with his dad and his grandpa, and he loves that. And so huh. it's fun. That's really Was cool. it hard to get someone like that who's in like farming to help you with like the spray tanning side of the business? Or was he excited to? He was excited for me. And I yeah. think he Something was. different. Yeah. I had a friend come to me and she was like, Taylor, I wondered how long it was going to take you to do something for yourself. And mm. I think that's kind of what he felt like too. Like she needs this. And she's given a lot to her family, and I'm just going to help her. Yeah. How old were your kids at this point? So my twins were like almost a year. Okay. And then I had my four-year-old. Yeah. And a four-year-old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could see at that point being ready to be like, okay. Like I can breathe for a second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like my mom that just lives down the road would come down and watch my kids there while I would spray. And that's nice. It was awesome. That's really, really nice. Yeah. Crucial. Thank goodness for grandparents. <laughs> Crucial. Yes. Literally. <laughs> Thank goodness for grandparents. So that's where our kid is. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> uh, since starting, how have you used social media to like leverage your business? Yeah. You guys, social media is huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know this. Mm-hmm. 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 And I like, I like social media. I think that's a good thing, but. It was hard to kind of not feel old. I'm not old, okay? I'm not old. But you kind of feel old going in and having me like, okay, I got to make all these reels with these certain sounds and I have uh-huh. to do like the trending hashtags and I have to like all and they're this. they're changing every day. Yes, and they're changing every day. <laughs> yeah. So I think my biggest thing is like word of mouth. Okay. And my kind of like theory behind it is word of mouth is huge. So if you can make someone feel special and that word of mouth gets out, then it just is this good karma that comes back and people just, Mm -hmm. they want that. So I just always make sure to make my clients feel special and loved and heard and because it's kind of a vulnerable setting. It is. No, that's (laughs) important to have a good recommendation for this type of thing that you're looking for. (laughs) So yeah, social media is fun and I love it. And I love seeing all my clients Mm -hmm. pictures posted, their weddings, their graduations, all that. But I'm, I just like when people are like, so-and-so told me that you made them feel comfortable and that, and I'm like, okay, let's do it. Like, let's get you in. Uh Uh-huh. So is that how people mainly find you? Is it on social? Do they DM you or? Yeah. Yeah. I would say Instagram probably. Yeah. Have you done any big collaborations or just any collaborations? So it's fun because since I'm from here, Mm. I know a lot of people. I'm sure. And then a lot of my friends are in the beauty industry too, are in the industry. And so I've done lots of different ones. And it's so like, so fun to connect with other people, connect like you guys. Like I was so excited to come down here and connect to another business Mm -hmm. and support each other because that's what we all need. Yeah. Yeah. We do. There is. Mm -hmm. Is there any specific collaborations you've done that were like maybe the most beneficial for your business? I was say or not. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was like, say, or one that where you were like we're very helpful okay. for, and they were not actually. We'll probably have a lot of those. Yeah, no, we because we have <laughs> yes. we have both. Yeah, <laughs> same. I'm like trying to uh-huh. think. So I just did like a branding session with Natalie Parker. Okay, okay. And it was my. It's hard to put yourself out there, you guys. Because did you I, do it at her at home her, studio? Yes, mm-hmm. and nice. she's amazing, mm-hmm. and she was she's so nice, so mm-hmm. fun, mm-hmm. and comfortable, and it like. Whenever I post those pictures, I feel like I get like five or six inquiries like nice. in th- that hour that's like, oh, hey, like we saw these pictures. We yeah. want to come in and get a tan. So I feel like that's been super beneficial. Mm-hmm. And she was so fun. And she was like pregnant and dilated. And I was worried she was going to have her baby. And a couple of my friends that were there were nurses. And I was like, okay, we got this. That's like, so funny. But she was great. Yeah. And it was so fun. And that's great that you're seeing a lot of great response from the photos too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we- positively for your business, yes. which is important. Because you know, point. as a mom, I'm like, okay, I'm going to lose like five more pounds and then I'll do this shoe. I'm going to like do this. I'm going to work out this much and then I'll do the mm-hmm. shoe. And then I was like, screw it. I'm just going to do it. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. Yeah. Because you said you were in the shoe. You yeah. were the star, yeah. right? Well, yeah. 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 It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. And all like I had a bunch of my friends were my models and we uh-huh. just had a good time. It was so, and to have people support you in those kind of situations where you're they were like in bikinis on being vulnerable. Yes, too. You. And I loved that. And they all just were like, yeah, great hype woman. Yeah. Yeah. Woman supporting women. Yeah, sure. That's really cool. So, that was a positive one, yeah. not a yeah. negative one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm like, I can't even think of a negative, which one. is great. I'm happy you can't even think of a negative one. Right, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. 
<laughs> okay. Um, have there been any other challenges you faced along the way? I guess that's another phrase. Of <laughs> okay. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe well, just not related to social media. Yes, just in yes. In our, well, I started, got trained in February of 2020, and then oh, COVID hit. Right. And so I did a lot of friends and family, mm -hmm. and so that kind of sucked because people were, like, scared to go anywhere. And so, like, starting a business during that was kind of rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But besides that, it's been great. It can only go up from there. Yeah, yeah. And I got lots of practice yeah. during that time. So it was yeah. great. On the, yeah, the other end. Yeah, <laughs> the practice. So in the midst of all this, my dad passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So that was a hard thing. And yeah. he's like, my biggest fan would be there helping with my kids, mm -hmm. cleaning my house, like just like saying he was so proud of me because these people, he was all about people. So he was a principal. He was a teacher, a coach for mm -hmm. like 50 years. Wow. So loved the community. And so when he passed away, it was really, that was really yeah. hard. And it was really hard to go back to normal things. Sure. And so I think having to like push myself to be like, okay, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to do this because you really just want to curl up in a ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we, I had a little YOLO that moment. That was amongst yeah, COVID uh, yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. And we went to um, three islands in two years in Hawaii. So yeah, I was like, like I'm going to live my life. I'm going to yeah. go see what I want to see. I'm going to yeah. make memories of my kids. Yeah. And it's so. It's important. And I love trips. Yeah. That's good that you guys did that. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're on the the up end of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah. So pricing. How have you struggled with pricing to make sure that you're getting paid fairly? <laughs> for your services girl that's so hard yeah it's so hard because i never like my prices people are keep saying you need to raise them you need to raise them we should raise them but i Listen never want them. someone to like <laughs> just come for a special event i want them to come when they had a crappy day and they just need to feel good about themselves i okay. want them to come when their boyfriend broke up with them and they just need to talk like i mm -hmm. wanted to make it affordable enough that it's not like i have to splurge to do this. like a luxury yes i want it to be se. a luxury yeah but still, still like affordable, a daily thing that you yeah, can do. Yeah. So what, what do, do you, you, what do you charge? What do you, so it's $30 for a normal tan and that's like when you can rinse in eight to 12 hours Yeah. and then cheap. a rapid is 40 and then that's I have so like cheap. a tan Tuesday uh -huh. that you can come for $20 and try it out. Oh my gosh. So yeah, affordable. I need, that's I know so I need to raise that's insane. my prices. So how does that work with your schedule? Well, I guess it's all at home. So that is probably helpful why you can like do that pricing yeah it, you know it's not like you're going somewhere for 20 bucks and coming back and renting out a big studio space no. and mm -hmm. spending like 500 so basically, on rent a month. it's around my kids schedule like yeah. and people are so nice when i'm like hey they moved the game of my kids as t-ball they're like oh yeah we can come an hour later like mm -hmm. so it's basically around their schedule yeah my end goal is to get like a she shed and get it out of my house but have That'd it be still cool. be on my property like we have three acres yeah. So I have plenty of Ooh, room. that would be cool. And do like a pink. I like pink. That'd yeah. be so cool. <laughs> yeah. As you That's can see from my idea. Instagram. Oh, uh, yeah. You should. I love that. That would be so fun. And have other like women businesses have their stuff in there. Like yeah. I just talked to a girl yesterday that makes these like feather earrings. And I was like, oh, yeah, that would be fun to have you come in. And Ooh, so you want it to be like big enough that you can have other like. Yeah. Like a like big a nice, solid group of people. Yes. In there. Because a lot of people. I love that. Come as a group mm -hmm. or we have like wedding parties or I do a lot of dance and cheer girls and they all come together mm -hmm. and it would be so fun. It is a thing that people come together to yeah. do because I went to high school here. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so spray tans were yes. kind of a yes. thing. And so I remember going with a friend and we would always go to the same random uh -huh. lady's house yep. in the evening and get our spray tan before bed. Yeah not sweat or you know do anything yeah. afterwards yeah yeah exactly big baggy clothes but yeah that's cool that it's like to make group activity things to coincide with it and it's fun i always say it's like a tan party yeah like i had these sister-in-laws come yesterday and we just laughed the whole time like they were so funny and i just love it yeah like a nice positive atmosphere mm -hmm. Where you can be yourself. There's no judgments. I do not judge anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't just say that to say that. Like, I really don't. <laughs> like, I do not care. Like, I love you for you. Mm -hmm. And I think whatever you bring to the table is awesome. Yeah. That's important, though, for people to remember those things you were just saying. Yeah. About other people. Like, everyone's just trying their best. No. We're all doing the best we can. 
and we can't change and anything we can't change about anything. that. Like, so and you'll see that when you come into my house. So no judgments here. <laughs> yeah. Like, I agree. I totally agree. That's super cool. So how did you decide where to get certified and learn everything? So um, my cousin's wife did it down in Utah, mm-hmm. and she was the one that was, like, the connection. And she's like, just come down and let's do it. And she was pretty big down there, like, did a couple of the pageants and newer stuff. Oh, cool. And it was awesome. And I got certified through um, the Norvell company Mm -hmm. that, like, a lot of solutions are through. And Hmm. so I am – you don't have to be certified in Idaho. I wanted to be certified just so I feel like it looks better. More education is always – like, it never can hurt anything. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it feel weird if you were like, I'm just gonna go buy it. And I'm just gonna even, go like, look and it up come at all. Over. <laughs> yeah, you probably had less imposter syndrome at the beginning too. Yes. Like, sure. Yeah, yeah. Had all that. You do need like a certain type of confidence to uh-huh. go and be like, put yourself out there. That's hard. It's so Especially hard. Especially yeah. with something you can mess up so easy. I imagine. I like mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> so what were your first steps when you were starting your business? Actually, did you? So, yeah. Like trying to find a name because I wanted a catchy name. Mm -hmm. So I like put it out to my group of friends and I was like, okay, which one do you guys like? And they liked obviously spray by tape. You gave them like three options. And then I had like a designer do my logo. And obviously I've changed a couple of things since then. Mm -hmm. Like you grow and you're like, okay, I want this and I want this. Right. (laughs) And then trying to decide solutions and doing your research and making sure you're all, you guys know, all covered like the key side of stuff, the The insurance side, the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tax side. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot to own a small business. And unless Mm -hmm. you do it, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. The pressure. Yeah. And all the mental load of all of it on you. And making sure you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. Right. And then being a mom and a wife and Mm -hmm. and then Mm -hmm. I'm PTO president. And then are you like my girl's competitive dance? And then like, yeah. So I just you're busy. I'm busy. That's so busy. It's so fun. How do you stay creative with it all to stand out? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of like late night inspiration when my house is quiet and there's Mm -hmm. like, I'm like, oh yeah, that would be fun. Or Mm -hmm. I don't know. (laughs) You know, you know, the quiet after everything goes, everybody goes to sleep and you're just sitting there like, oh yeah. Are you like a Pinterest scroller? I I do. I do love Pinterest. Or just, are you on like Instagram or Mm -hmm. TikTok? I don't have TikTok. I don't. Really I feel either. like I Me can either. only handle like so many social to. media. I can't either. <laughs> it's funny because my mom's on TikTok. She is not. She <laughs> like is. You're not. I'm not. And so then I'll send her videos I find on Instagram, and she's like, "Oh, I saw that like three, three days, days ago." ago. Yes. Like, she's like always oh, like, "Oh, that's just an old one." <laughs> Your mom is more on it with the. She's more hip. Are. Is she when trendy? I, <laughs> yeah. When she when there's something, I'm like brainstorming i'm like okay if you've seen anything about this let me know because you're in a whole nother arena than i am of <laughs> okay that's research. a good that's good to have her on your side though yeah yeah like have some somebody else's opinions and thoughts it helps are you the oldest then i am okay that's what i'm I like am the oldest child your mom must be somewhat young yeah mm-hmm. she had me in college oh yeah so she was a younger mom yes i love it <laughs> Good times. Good times. Good times. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do you have like building background? Does your husband have that? Would you be able to build it yourself? So we've looked into kind of like those pre-made sheds and like they the have so many of- now. Yeah. And they're cute. Yeah. They're so cool. So, and then he could do everything else. That's exciting. It would be fun. Do you think that's like seriously on the table? Yes. That's like, I'm hoping in a year. Oh. That's so is that something that would be part of Spray by Tay or would it be a whole new like- building no it'd just be thing. the spray by tape yeah. yeah yeah i've mm. like so you know how you're in a bunch of groups you do on- a shipping container that'd be cool he's I really know, into I the shipping that. container he wants one kick. so bad to and do- pink right saw- and paint it pink just sure anything. whatever <laughs> yeah i saw i found this guy's page and he just does custom ones and they make the coolest stuff like out of it and i think they're cool too I'm, i think yeah. it's cool mm-hmm. and if you have the space for it i know my favorite are when they it. put like two on the side stacked and then they have the whole middle open and they put the wood stuff in the middle like Ooh, a normal house yeah so then it just makes like a huge home and like really ugh, i want to beautiful I'm like Is i want to build a shipping container <laughs> studio maybe <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully one day. We have those dreams. You know, like when people are like, I bought all this land and now I'm putting like glamping. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, something yeah. like that would be cool. It'd be super fun. We like building stuff. Yeah. So 
I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you like to build stuff, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. build your business. Just, yeah, not enough to like try to do it as a career. So. <laughs> <laughs> no like, Chip and Joanna? No. I don't know. What? I don't think that's I could do it long work. term. We, um, so like for our, like a week, I'd be having so much fun. And then, like, <laughs> well, we had like our COVID <laughs> yeah. thing. So we bought a house. It was literally the Wednesday. And then that Friday, oh after God. we signed the papers, we shut down like in Hawaii, like, like everything jobs, shut down. Like, like we were everything. work from home, like just shut down. And so we bought this house. And so we had our old apartment and we wanted to redo our new place before we moved in, which was like. Um, there was really bad smokers that had lived there before. Oh. Like popcorn ceiling. And so it was all popcorn ceiling, but you could like literally see the nicotine in the ceiling. Oh. And so we were like, okay, we have to scrape this place yeah. before we even move in. And so we had three weeks of like overlap of moving homes and f renovating our new home. So it was like, get there 5 a.m., 6 a.m., work our asses off oh all day gosh. and then like try and get it ready. And then we finished getting it ready and now we have to move and move everything into it. Okay. Did it turn out good though? It turned out. It, yeah, was, it, was, it was good. It was awesome. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So but what? I was like, I can't do this <laughs> for every, the, day. <laughs> every day. I did it for it's two enough, weeks enough. and yeah. I'm done. Uh -huh. But you guys are both handy then. Yeah, we're yeah. handy. So that's, it's been, <laughs> it's good. What or side it's of like the maybe were you not. on? <laughs> um, we were in Honolulu in the beginning. Okay. But then when we bought our home, we were in Pearl City. So it's like more central. 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 Like Pearl Harbor. Uh huh. And that's, mm -hmm. pre that's pretty. It was really pretty, yeah, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice. You know, freeways. I know. That's what I was like shocked. Have you about. been to Oahu? Uh huh. It's not it wasn't my expect. favorite. I, hate I, Oahu. <laughs> I, I would never, I wouldn't vacation there. No. I would. The North Shore is beautiful. It is beautiful. And Lanakai is like one of my favorite beaches I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, Lanakai? Lanakai, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Lanakai is nice. And we saw a bunch of turtles and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's awesome sad in certain spots because the beaches are just really deteriorating. And so even if you go now, I, it'd be like a sliver of a beach. That's so it's sad. kind of hard. Yeah. Like the homes over in North Shore, they're get, starting to wash away. Oh, so, so like, yeah. This. So if you drive down, all of them are for sale and it's kind of like a scam right now oh. where people are listing their homes for sale and people are buying them and like not seeing them. And then they're getting there and realizing it's like going to be washed away in like 10 years. Oh my God. That's so sad. Isn't that crazy? That's so, and I, I can't imagine how expensive they are. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's Speak, crazy. Speaking of Hawaii though, there's like nowhere anywhere in, I don't think there's any spray businesses tanning in Hawaii is like that not a thing. does spray tanning or sunbed tanning. What is Well, this? no, I would see Planet some Fitness like, had it. some sunbed tanning, then, but even just spray tanning because that's healthier than right, bed tanning. Right, right. I would. But it I, wasn't common in Hawaii. It's so like being in a state that's like cold and dark and gloomy <laughs> eight months out of the year. Do you think that helps your business? <laughs> yeah, I yes. do. I, I'm way busier during like fall and spring because people are like, Going or even I feel like summer too because I have my little regulars that come that are like I'm not gonna I don't want to get skin cancer mm -hmm. I don't want to get wrinkly I'm gonna come do a spray tan we talk about get sunscreen we talk yeah. about you know well that's just really important nowadays especially with just health and yeah and yeah so have you noticed the, the shift <laughs> from people who used to sunbed tan to like they just spray now oh yeah or like in the last like five to ten years I'm sure yes. there's been a huge shift well like and Jersey also Shore. people will be <laughs> whoa jersey shore put a bad like i was a tanner back in the days like same. high school i lived here sunband tanning like um, playboy constantly. bunny sticker all of it like, yeah yeah but now i'm like horrified right that we sat in there I'm for 20 30 minutes horrified <laughs> cooking baking uh -huh. like even a couple times coming in out Hawaii, smelling like, like you yes. make. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, horrified no it's not and I feel like more now I have people be like oh I just went to the dermatologist and had to have like skin spots removed and I had to have like all this and so this is what I'm doing instead and I was like yeah. I love that yeah. yeah just the health factors yeah and even young girls I feel like they're more aware than we were back in good the day because about like I'm sure just everybody's and everyone is getting sick <laughs> well yeah and you don't want to be wrinkly no that too also <laughs> skincare 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 yeah we care about our skincare much yes. more. Uh -huh. That's true. I probably shouldn't look back at those old high school photos of what I'm my like, face looked oh. like. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Being in the tanning bed. Okay, but you know how many people come in and they'll be like, I don't want to be orange. I'm like, that's not even a thing no, anymore. That's not okay. A thing. Like, it's, it's not, not our Donald Trump, Oompa Loompa. It's 
we need different jokes. Okay. No. Like, come on. It's not it anymore. <laughs> but no. you could do that if you wanted to. You could make someone orange. Yeah. Yeah, some orange. Maybe. Too. Isn't that no, that's not the product going bad. That's just an orange. Okay. Color. So why does Donald Trump bad. look so orange orange then? <laughs> it's, it's just his it's spray his tan thing. Artist? I feel like that's like yeah, his, that's his trademark, color. That's like right? His tone. Don't you? Like if he had one that looked natural, it wouldn't look as well, good. Well, it's he it's like he just rubs it in prime places. <laughs> So and I don't not know. good. I think he does it himself. You think? That's why. You think he uses yeah, like a rub on? I don't think he has a good person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who does his We spray should tan? look that up. <laughs> this should be I've covered. never thought about that. We want to talk to them. We yeah. want I want to know what product you're using and why are you using it, okay? <laughs> Maybe he like contours his own makeup or something. He just spread at it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but on the, <laughs> on the plus side, there is a lot of celebrities that you'd have no idea have spray tans, and they look awesome. Well, like, do you watch the Kardashians? Yes, I love the Kardashians. How Kim's like, all right, I got to get home for my 11 p.m. spray tan. I know. Like, they live in spray tans, and they yeah. already have, like, gorgeous bronze skin, yep. and it just, like, makes it even more beautiful. I know. I love it. Yeah. I love when I'm like, oh, they have a spray tan, and it looks so good. Uh-huh. Yeah. I need to be better about that. Come see me. Yeah, I have to drive an hour to St. Anthony. It's worth it. I'm worth it. I promise. <laughs> so do you do um, sprays only at your home or do you do like on location stuff? Ever? So like I go to the dance studios. I've gone to cheer places. Right. You just have like a pop-up Yeah, a pop-up, um, like a tent. Have okay. you ever done a bodybuilding competition? No. And it's, I don't know if I could, <laughs> you guys. Even my like cheer and dance girls are like, I want to be black. I'm like, how about chocolate? Because it would go chocolate. against like everything you believe well, in. Well, I just don't think I could do it. I don't think I could like make someone look that dark. Just like that dark. You're just like mm -hmm. ethically, I don't know if I want to. It's like, like this, it's, it's like, a natural, a natural a looking tan. Yeah, um, and like everything about what they need is not natural. <laughs> and like, I can't give it to them. I am not your person for yeah. that. Did you know about? Could be good for your money. The though. peacups, maybe with that. Know. No, do I want to know what that is? The what? <laughs> I was gonna say the you pee say teacup. Yeah. <laughs> now you have it to was tell us. Somebody Ryan? who was it was He's when he did bodybuilding stuff and we were talking to his coach forever ago, they had all these girls that were there for uh -huh. this like training and they were like, Okay, we have to get our spray tans. And then they're like, Everyone, make sure you have your pee cups because they like we're gonna go on stage in these like dark, dark tans and bikinis. Yep. And they were like, if you go pee now, it's going to run off all of the tan on your, like, you're going to get dribble. Oh and so they're like, so you have to pee in a cup they so needed you don't like get a an overspray. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh Just a little thing. Now things. I feel bad you were a bodybuilder and I said that. I'm so sorry. Uh, He's only probably done two. Great, okay? He's only done two and he was like a it, high school kid. Yeah. There's one in high school and one in college. So I'm not one and not anymore. Okay. It's just something I try. It's for the experience. Yeah. Okay, but I have, I have had people like either get spooked or like have accidents and pee down their leg, and I've had to fix it. Like, uh, uh -huh. seeing like come of, back in, yes. or did it happen on the spot? No, did they you had scare to like them? they come. <laughs> <laughs> it was not me or my kids or my house. It was um, <laughs> like these freak things, and they came back, and we had to get. Sometimes laugh, it can then, happen when you're a mom. It's true. Anything's those, possible. Okay. Like God, how annoying would that seven be? Seven <laughs> sneeze sneak attack can get you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clench. <laughs> Things you don't know yeah, about. You need to get, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Lucky it's you. It's just the risk of the job, I guess. I know. Yeah. The blessings. The blessings. Just make sure yeah, you pee before you get sprayed, I guess. things that you don't talk about. Is there other unspoken things that you should keep in mind when getting a spray tan? So... Lots of people come in makeup mm -hmm. or come in leggings or jeans. Do not do any of those. Mm -hmm. I've sent people with mm -hmm. ro in like my robes in Keith's basketball shorts. Oh my gosh. Because I didn't realize how many, I don't have a lot of loose clothing myself. Okay. Right. So I'm like, um, <laughs> make sure you come in loose clothing. Make sure you come like exfoliated <laughs> before. Gave away Keith's clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was actually to like one of his high school friends and she lived in Boise or something and she shipped him back so we got his basketball shorts back in the mail with like a thank you no it was so cute like That's oh great. my gosh so funny oh my gosh so do you like send everyone like prep information now yes and I any questions they have they're like hey this is my first one I'm like ask me all the questions because mm -hmm. I would rather you come prepared mm -hmm. and then be like oh I forgot to ask you this like just ask me mm -hmm. and like I told you guys I don't have a filter so ask me anything ask you anything yeah 
And I do do a lot of guys too. Like, do you see a lot of men? Who yeah, they come with their really? spouse when they're going on trips. I love when it. They're doing like I've done grooms, like, and it's fun. That's and they're good. and they're great. A lot of more good sports. I have this sparkle powder that I use at the end. Mm -hmm. And one guy was like, what are you spraying on me? And he's like, my girls are going to make fun and call me Edward the rest of the day because I shimmer. Glitter in the sun. Yes. So I got some non-glitter powder for, you know, when the guys come. But Oh, my gosh. Have you ever thought about adding that to, like, your marketing? Like, having some, like, men in your marketing? I don't know. I thought about that, too. Like, why does no one do that? Yeah. Why aren't we including men in on this? I thought about that when I did my photo shoot this yeah. last time. I was like, that would have been so fun. Yeah. but Because that's like what people aren't doing. No. No one talks about like how men get spray tans too. Like men can get spray tans. And I like even have like perfectly fine. This like younger, that's not a thing. No. <laughs> this younger guy come and he's like, hey, I really want to impress my date. Yeah. And I'm coming to get a tan. And I was like, oh, I love that. Like good yeah. for you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's been dark for eight months. You look like a ghost. <laughs> you are I can almost to get a see tan. through you. <laughs> Please go get a tan. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good idea. I know. I, don't know. I need to be better. It's just a food for thought because we've talked to other people too with just like other just marketing things around here. It's like, like not when, specifically that. And I'm like, what if we add like some men to it? And they're like, no. But I'm like, they're and then you're the, like, he's sitting right here. Yeah. Come I'm on. like, the whole market <laughs> is like actually there. Like we're just cutting out half of our market. Yeah. It's just food for thought. Oh, I love it. Because I've just noticed that around here. It's true. There is a stigma, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it's just probably just the politics of the area. But, you know, that's just how it is. Yes. We'll slowly change things. (laughs) So what's, like, the most people you've done at once? Because you said you do big groups and events. Okay. So my biggest group was the other day, and I had, like... Um, close to 40 tans that night. Oh my gosh. Damn. And my hip hurts so bad, you guys. I was you said like, each one takes, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. And because I and like squat like up arm? and down. So I squat and I was like, oh my hell, how old am I? Like, why does this hurt so bad right now? And then I'm like, that's why. Well, that'll keep you active then. Sure. Hopefully my booty gets <laughs> counted as my workout. So how long was that whole thing? So it's I want to like say day. I started at like five or six and then my last one was like 10 or 11 was it like a wedding or so i had it was like dyw mixed with dance girls mixed with girls going on vacation mixed with it was just like i feel like everybody needed a oh my gosh so how do you manage all the bookings do you have a yeah system? i was gonna say the scheduling for that me <laughs> so you just really? write it all down yeah or? i well you can do it through my instagram mm-hmm. and i like have like a square booking or but a lot of people just like message me or do you like that or do you not like that? Because sometimes I prefer if people just go through the actual schedule. Yeah, I, I go back and forth about yeah. it because I'm like, first of all, then I can be like, oh, I already have someone right here. So mm-hmm. I might as well go back to back mm-hmm. and put them. So I'm just down there. Sure. At a so, you can time, so I don't have like, oh, I'm running around that I'm going to come back into a tan and then run That's around. True. So I do like it that way. That makes sense. And like they usually do have questions. Yeah. Do you make people pay upon booking or is it after? It's after. Okay. And sometimes that's bit me in the ass, but it's okay. I was yeah. going to say, have you thought about <laughs> yeah, changing that? Yeah. I know. I don't. Because that was one of our like pain points was like just flaky people. I guess it's like a barber. I, I pay my barber after. Well, but and no, you they also... make you put in a card to book though. Like so that way if you don't show up, then you pay like 30 yes. bucks. Yeah, yeah. So but they like don't technically paying. charge me till yeah after but yeah it's all the same i guess and i feel like that a lot of people like your hairstylist your Mm -hmm. nails like all that i don't know i feel like i do such a good job people shouldn't pay me before because then they'll be like oh yeah girl you like deserve a little extra okay just right you don't want to compromise any tips at the end so you don't take any kind of deposit or card and i feel like for the most part it's usually people have like a legit i don't i really don't have any no shows that's great Yeah. And I feel like people, Good. yeah. So I don't feel like I've needed it yet. Good. Maybe when I start to grow a little more, probably. Mm-hmm. You start running into that problem. Problem. Yeah. But I feel like it's been great. Mm-hmm. Well, good. Good. So. You have had no challenges. Look at you. Your Stop. Business. You're jinxing. You? <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> no, it's been good. It's been so good. Well, no, that's really that's good. cool. I'm sure it helps starting in a town where you like know people and just yeah. comfortable. And-, mm-hmm. and I really do have like the best people around me. I know everyone says that. But yeah, I really do. Like I have the best support system. I have best family. That's important. Friends. Like it's just awesome. Because like running a full business, it's like. 
that's a full time job. They have and your mom, that's a full time job yeah. at the same time. So yeah. you need help somewhere. Yes. Yes. We can't do everything. <laughs> no. Even though we think we can. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. Yeah. We have to be able to make those sacrifices for it. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which makes it all the more rewarding. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's been fun to it's see. It's another baby. Yeah. And to see my kids be like so proud of me. Like they made me this little like good luck thing this morning and put it on my pillow. Like oh, this good little no. And like. That's so sweet. Because you know how you have Seeing the mom, mom chase guilt. Her dreams. Yes. Yeah. The mom guilt that you're like, oh, I should be down there. I shouldn't be doing this. Mm-hmm. But this is like kind of our fun money. Yeah. So I kind of okay. try to keep that in perspective like okay we're gonna go do this or mm-hmm. we just bought a big blow up water slide so yeah. you know like little stuff like that yeah but it's been fun to be see them be like yeah my mom does this my mom that's really fun yeah. so how old are they now so my oldest is seven, seven. and my twins are five they'll go into five. kindergarten this year and oh, i'm dying man. oh my goodness i'm so sad oh you my guys goodness i'm like what am i gonna because a lot of people want to do it at night there everyone's like just work more but i'm like I'll probably put my schedule oh, it's open. the opposite now. Yeah. So I don't know. Mm. But it's cool that you have the ability to control that. Yeah. And yeah. on what days, like my yeah. May was insane and I just kind of worked my schedule around everything mm-hmm. and I still had a really good month and yeah, it was so fun. Like I really do. Like being a mom is the best thing ever and this is just like a bonus on top of it mm-hmm. that I get to interact and make relationships with people. Yeah. And yeah, it's been like That's really cool. Get to go to weddings and baby showers. And it's like a fun and- thing. Everyone's yes! in a good mood. No one comes like to you to get a spray Bumped tan before a funeral. To get a spray no. Tan. Like- well, I have had people do that. But- <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they've left happier. Generally. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, lift their lift their spirits a little. <laughs> so no, but I'm up. a good guy. I'm the good guy. I help you guys. I yeah help- yeah yeah. It's like an exciting thing to come. Yes. For. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you have any advice for someone who is wanting to start their own business or pursue 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 <laughs> <laughs> pursue a passion? Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't be scared. Okay. Like put yourself out there and just go for it cuz the worst that's going to happen is it'll probably stand, still end up being awesome. Mm-hmm. Like there's blessings and there's positive things in everywhere you look. And it's hard to put yourself out there but you can do it. People, yeah. yeah. And they should. They should. They should. They should. Pursue your passion. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming on our podcast today. Thanks it was so for... great to meet you. I know. You guys are so fun. Oh, thank you. And I was I was worried. And I didn't say anything weird. So I'm no. super proud of you. Like, I said the weird stuff. <laughs> That's normally how it goes. <laughs> Afterwards, I'm like, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> the <She>, pee cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll keep that. That's good stuff. Yeah. That's, that's gold. Okay. That's good stuff. <laughs> Literally It's probably going to be a clickbait. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, let's hope not. I won't do that to you. <laughs> yes, She's like, don't. guys. <laughs> I was on a podcast. All three I'm clickbaits like, <laughs> are about that one. <laughs> that one story. Thank you guys so much, though. Of no, course. Yeah, it was of fun course. hearing your story. Yeah. It was great. Of course. Um, where can people go to follow you yes. and so, get a spray tan? On my Instagram at Spray by Tay. Okay. And, um... Send her a DM. Send me a DM and you will love it. And I do have people. I have people come from Blackfoot. Nice. I have people come from all over. So it's not a far drive. (laughs) Just come and see me. It's not a far drive, everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Except for these guys. (laughs) (laughs) Even though it's talking negatively on an hour long drive. It's not a big deal. Just listen to your just podcast. Listen to our just podcast. listen to the podcast. Yeah, oh, there you go. On yeah. your way to go see it. Yeah. Great idea. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so if you made it this far, um, like, subscribe, follow. Thank you. It means so much. All the things. All the yes. things. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.